Should I stand there as well? I like that, yeah, that you can uh, see yourself. I like that. I find I that... I couldn't live without that. Is it recording? Yes, yeah, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Carport Woodcraft. I'm Carl and this is Vicky from The Carpenter's Daughter. She's come to see us today and uh, today we're going to be doing some dovetails. It's Vicky's first time at doing hand cut dovetails and we're also going to be sharpening chisels. This is my wood yard area out here and then uh, this is this is the workshop. Cool. I love the, uh, the bandsaw. That looks more professional than mine. <laughs> yeah, so that's the new one. I'm going to do a review on that soon. But yeah, that'll be coming up in a video shortly. Oh, this is cool. I'm oh, a little cat, yeah. It looks really, really handy. Yeah. The only thing is, now, it's basically... Do you know like when you have an area in your workshop where you throw all your stuff just on one side and you just keep it on there? I thought this was going to make me more organised and I was going to take it with me around the workshop. But all I've ended up doing is dumping stuff on it. It's like getting a bigger handbag yeah, and yeah. just throwing crap Well, in I wouldn't know that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I do with that one. I just, I've just i ended up dumping more stuff on it. So I don't know if it was that much of a good idea. You have yeah. a lot of clamps. Jacob's doing his apprenticeship work today, so he's he's uh, writing his essays and stuff. He's, he's um, doing apprenticeship for carpentry yeah, and yeah. like that. So he's doing level two uh, furniture manufacturing. Nice. So that's his qualification. But the company, they just sent him his essays and stuff mm -hmm. like that, uh, all his written work, and then uh, everything else is taught by me. I bet he's get, going through it quite quickly because he's got you to teach him as well. Yeah, yeah, he's flew through it. He literally did, because you've got to do your maths and English again when you first start. What was meant to take him 18 months, he didn't realise. He did it in 10 days. So he's dedicated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so they weren't very happy about that because it was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to take nearly two years and he did it in 10 days. How did you cut out the sign? Oh, I got that made from a local company, Laser Bros. Shout out to Laser Bros. Hull Company, they made that for me. Yeah, nice. That is a beast of a mitre saw. That yeah, is yeah. massive. Actually, it's, ma it's miles bigger than mine. But my width of the Evolution one is probably about the same. That's why I had to make sure my stand was um, wider. Yeah, the good thing about this is the rails, because the rails come forward as well. It takes up minimal space behind it. <coughs> Excuse Bless me. You. It takes up minimal space behind it, but it's bang on accurate every time. So I don't... Does this block, block in the way there? No, don't block. Like... No, no, because this pulls forward, look, because the rails are forward. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. So it's, it, but it's not a sight saw. So that's a two-man lift. Where's it on? Jesus, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mine was heavy enough. Okay, what are you working on lately? Well, I didn't realise that I've... Um, at the moment, I'm doing a stall. Then I realised, actually, this falls almost under your June uh, chair challenge. Oh, yeah. Apart from he doesn't have a... I was looking at the, the rules yeah. last night or this morning. Why did it, I put it? needs to have a back on it. Yeah, yeah I have I a backrest and I thought, well, I'm, I'm not going to put one for the sake of it. it I, I needed... I'm working on this... This stool that is also a step ladder, so it converts into yeah. it. Whether it goes right, I don't know, but it's my second project on SketchUp, and I was able to do all the pivots before making any cuts, right. you know, like oh, making yeah. sure I didn't make any mistakes. Touch wood, everything's so going to be all right. So I ironed out the problems prior. Yes, yeah. 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 So I definitely recommend giving SketchUp a go. Well, it's, it's free to, to trial anyway. Yeah. But um, I'm halfway through it. It's, I didn't really want to use pocket hole joinery, but I wanted to do half lap joints, but I don't know how to draw it on SketchUp yet. Right. So I just thought, let's keep it simple. Other people hopefully will figure out, well, they'll see it as easier and not be overwhelmed by half lap joints and stuff. Yeah. The reason I've, I thought I needed it is I um, had a Zoom call a few months ago and I fell off my chair on the Zoom call and it was a really light, the problem was it was a lightweight uh, mobile shop stall. It were cheap. I bought it on Amazon and every time I sat on it I'm worried that I'm going to fall back or any other Zoom call and I thought it's just me to fall. Right. Oh, so yeah just be, did you see then how she popped it down? Yes, it. yes, yeah. yes. If so you just get like into that, the habit, yeah. yeah. And you always know I, you're Yeah, never did that before. Wow that's slidey as hell. <laughs> that's what you, she said. <laughs> can, you see, can you see yeah. that? That's the metal fibres coming off it already, filings. I'm not a man who's good with words, so... I, I know you make me own words, but... <laughs> what did you make up? I didn't know what that is. Met, metal fibres or something, I said, I don't no, know. No, I don't remember. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> Tell me when I should stop. Yeah, so you're just going to get... Just getting it so it's got a nice uh, polished... 
polished dish edge on it. It's a thousand. So I just have a look every now and again now. One, two, three. Oh, my arms are aching. That's a yeah. perfect time. Yeah, so I give it a clean and then have a look. See? Yeah, so that looks like almost like mirrorish now, isn't it? So if you wanted, you could go up to 1200 as well, but that's enough for 1000. So now if you almost set up on the grinder. Okay, and I don't know really how far. Yeah, so okay. probably three quarters of the way back. And then, uh, yeah, and then just make like? sure it's against the looks. So I'll try and tighten it evenly. Tighten it evenly. Because when, you, when you've got it on there anyway, you're not going to be full. There's going to be no force in it, do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, so now we're just going to slide it onto the... Well, this looks quite cool. Right, yeah. this is very confusing. Let me just put a bit of oil on there. So every now and again, I put a bit of fresh oil on, on this, just so it slides better. Right, and is a, do you put a litre of water in there today? Yeah, and no, today we put uh, probably about 500 ml, I think. But well, initially, initial. initially it soaks up about a litre. You just keep putting it in oh. until it's all gone. So now you're going to use... Is that your... right then? Yeah, yeah. Do so... I need PPE for this? Imagine I've got that. No. I've got that anyway. No, so all you're going to do is get splashed. Okay, okay. So now you're going to use this. Yes. The jig. And you're going to get the one that says 25 degrees. That one. And you're going to place it on there. And you're going to get rid of that gap there. Right. Remember? So what's the best thing to do? Literally... So, so you undo these first. So there's, take this, you know, the tightness off it. Okay. And then, so you can adjust this, and then you're gonna wind this. See how it's going up when I twist it that way? And then it's gonna go down when I twist it that way. Right, so, so we need to go down, don't we? So down like that until that gap's gone. Tell me when it's done. I can't see any light. I right? can't see any light now. That looks bang on to me. And I can see the, the bevel is Yeah, up. that the angle's you changed. Can, I can see, yeah. yeah. yeah so now we'll just that's... confirm that these are tight. You can see how that, that bit's the fiddliest bit. Yeah. But once you get the knack of it. Is it do... important, Lisa? No, not really. I've got them on mine and I've got I, them I keep them on. Paul Sellers says you don't need them, so they can't be that important. <laughs> so, two fingers like that on the front, yeah? Yeah. Nice firm pressure. Not, you know, it's hard to say how much firm is in it when you're, everybody's different, aren't they? And then you're just evenly going across like that, keeping it consistent, yeah? And then we'll have a little look, see where it moved it. And can you see yeah. that? Right on one side, innit? And where, we know we're square because we're up against them mm -hmm. lugs. So there you go. It, I must admit, it's, it feels like it's good for dummies <laughs> compared to... Yeah, that's why I use it. It's like, it, it's like <laughs> idiot proof, isn't it? So... <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the most technical bit, getting that right. Yeah, Spend your more. time setting that up and you're, you're good to go. Right. So let me just practice. Yeah. So I'm going like that. Yeah, yeah. And just trying to use the full stone all the way across. But just be mindful you don't want to slip off there. Yes, I just thought and then I'll stab it and... Oh, that's good. Yeah, it does a little jerk, doesn't it, as it starts. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, so just slide your fingers a bit lower down, that's it. That's the one. My workbench is a bit high for you, isn't it? You're yeah, getting, yeah. Chisel in your throat. Do you want a stool? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> At the moment. I'm that... I'm five foot five, a little shorty. I've got a, I've got a drill a hole for some dowel, and what I'm doing is I'm putting a, a piece of dowel all the way, and then it pivots. All right. But I've had to learn how to do the pivoting on SketchUp to work out whether it's going to hit, you know, the top if it hits anything, and I think I've cracked it. I know you seem to be nailing that SketchUp, don't you? Um, Remember your fingers on the front. Oh, sorry, yeah. That's I'm it. glad you're here. <laughs> it's hard to feel this. That... Yeah. yeah, so what I normally do is if you can, if you get to a side of it, you can see how I'm tilting it like that and I find the edge. So if you stand okay. this side, go like that with your finger, you'll see, you'll find the edge. See yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, and then you just pull it back a couple of times. Are you left handed, though, right? I'm right. Yeah, so it should be all right with that. Right, and then have a look. Do I, have to, oh, I saw you lift it up and. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so you see, half the time I don't even know what I'm doing, but that was like how I was doing it, wasn't it? I was going. And then finding the edge each time I like. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, then, and I'm easing off as I get to the back and through safe. See if you've got it, Char. Yeah, do it. Drum roll. <laughs> There you go. Have a little slice. It took me long enough, didn't it? <laughs> didn't it? Right, it took about. Well, that's only took about 20 minutes. 
But you don't have to do this very often. It's just that bev the, the micro bevel. Is yeah, I mean, we don't it? we haven't even done a micro bevel yet. That's straight off there. So give that a give that a slice. Nice. nice. Are you showing off how sharp it is? R rather than shanking it like you're in prison, you need to like fold your paper like that and just go. Right, let's right, try, so try that one. <laughs> yes. And then, then I slide it by mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll keep the short. Yeah, it's yeah. easy to do a short. Up against this, we know this is twenty-five point. mil. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So you're doing it right. So. Uh, and then I tighten. You up. want this, the chisel, just. Uh, see oh, this. That move in. You see that little V. Yeah. That's why you want the, the V of this. A lot of chisels have a V. This one, but that's what that's for. So basically, you want that sat in there on both sides. See so how this yeah. side where it is, just there. So basically, I use my hip. Yeah? Yes, yeah. Hold it flat like that, and then I rotate that until it's in there. See it, and then I can check it's in the right place. Cool. But like I said, that's the knack of doing that. Right. So, oops, need to jig there. All oh, right. Do they have to be? Really and then, tight. yeah, and then you'll tighten it up with your screwdriver. Right, okay, so I think that looks right. Let's see. Yeah, spot on. Does that need to be? That's good. Oh, it's hitting the side anyway. Yeah, and then you just tighten it up. Oops. Yeah. Now, I can't remember what you did there. So that's good, you've got that set now. Oh, All yeah, you need to do yeah, now is, here, isn't it? So remember how we do it. We, ro we roll it on the, so we don't let the front of the chisel touch this. We roll it on the, the back roller, and then we lower the front end down, put two fingers on the front, like that, and then we're just gonna pull back. Like that. Like that, and then we're just gonna use the whole of the oil stone, so using a, uh, the diamond plate, uh, use a different bit of it, you know, each time. Yeah. So you're getting even wear on your diamond plate. And then, after like... Is this right? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. And, and, and you then, didn't have to do much, did you? No, no. And then if you feel, look now, you should have a bevel forming. See how you have. I'm missing it on so, the side. Yeah, so that's just the pressure again. Yeah. So all you need to do is, if you're missing it, a little bit more pressure on that side. But you'll get the knack of that, do you know what I mean? Your, your muscle memory will get it. And then feel that's the quite even. Yeah, that's perfect. And you feel that little bevel there. Mm. Spot on. So do I just... Yeah, just do a couple more and then... Just like nice, and then as you do more, you just even, you know, even the pressure out, light, lighten the pressure. Mm -hmm. So you're like almost polishing it. And then once you've done that, you can take out the horn, the honing guide. Microphone on, but each time you sharpen oh, that. Oh, I've tightened that so tight. <laughs> yeah, each time you sharpen that now, yeah. that micro bevel will grow slightly until right. the micro bevel's like. Not a micro bevel anymore, mm -hmm. and then you'll need to do a fresh grind again. Right. But that'll take, that'll be a year, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. micro bevel will only grow a tiny bit because all you're going to do is 10 strops. So Unless ten... I hit a nail, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, so now all you're going to do is you're going to put, remember like we did before? It was leather, uh, wasn't it? I can't remember. So we went flat uh, yeah. like that. That's so right. We went flat like that, and then we're, this is just to remove that bear. You go like that, Vicky. Mm -hmm. Look at the front tip. Can you see the bear? When I push it down, you come to that angle and do it. Oh, yeah. So watch when you push it down, you'll see it. Yeah. That's the bear, that. that's a tiny little bit of metal. So now all you're going to do is polish that off. So, so keep it nice and flat. So remember, never. So go like that, that. Yeah. and then there, yeah. and just up and down. And then just buff it like before, like that, yeah. You might not get rid of it on there, but it'll definitely come off when you go onto the lever strop. Sometimes it doesn't come off on there. How long do I need to do this? No, not long at all. No. Ah. Rub it firmly. Yeah. So like, like that? Is that no. it? Oh, wait, let me show you. This is so bizarre. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it's like, you just okay. rub it in nice and firm like that. I bet all this kit costs a fortune. I'm checking the camera all over that. Uh, well, one of them, I don't know, about 10 of it lasts you for life. Do you know what I mean? You're never going to run out of that. It looks like a giant crayon. I know. It's just wax, isn't it? So, is it that way? Remember what we did before, where we find the angle. That's perfect. I just thought, actually, tell you what would be a good Father's Day gift. Just sharpening these chisels. Yeah. <laughs>
He's a very hard person to buy for. Yeah, just be careful you don't pull your edge off, you know, round it over. It's all about looking after that edge. So now you've got. Oh, feel sharp. Yeah. So now you've got a micro bevel as well, if you want, so you can test it again like that. God, you bet you go through paper like crazy. <laughs> so keep it put. Lovely. That's quite satisfying. Isn't it? And you think if it's sharp enough to do that and it's sharp enough to shave your arms, then yeah, it's sharp. Yeah, it's sharp. That way. Yeah, just be careful. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave There's it. a technique to doing yeah. that. I just saw actually. You just shank yourself. They're a bit too blonde, so I can't. Treating Vicky to uh, a chippy in Hull. Ooh. Battered sausage. No chips. <laughs> Condiment racks coming in handy. Can't say I've had spam. Never had a spam fritter? I don't think so. Ah, it's banging. What the bloody hell was that? A leaf. <laughs>